Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Problem one dash twelve. So the statement of problem is the serving tray T used on an airplane is supported on each side by an arm. So you can see this is a tree that is supported by uh, an arm on each side. The tray is pin connected to the arm at A and B. There is a smooth pin. So you can see at point A and B there is a smooth pin. That pin can move within the slot in arm to permit the folding tray against the front passenger seat when not in use. So this pin can move freely in order to fold this tray. Determine the resultant internal loading acting on cross section of the arm through point C. So you have to find this internal loading at point C when the tray arm supports a load shown. So you have to find the internal loading at point C when this tray is acted upon by load of 9 Newton and 12 Newton. So let's start it. We will first draw the free body diagram in order to find this uh, internal loading at point C. So if uh, you if you can see that at point C there is a shear force in this direction which is VC there is normal force NC that is acting normal to this point C and there is a movement reaction movement at point C when this uh, rod or arm is cut it clear. So we what we have to do we have to transform these forces in, in this direction. As this tray is the, as this arm makes an angle of 60 degree with this horizontal axis, you can see. So if I draw a line parallel to this this line, this arm, so clear. So let me draw it. So if I draw a parallel line to this, clear. And here same again. I if I draw a parallel line over here. So this uh, arm makes an angle of 60 degree with this horizontal so this line will also make a angle of 60 degree with this horizontal axis clear so the remaining this angle will be 30 degree because the sum of 30 plus 60 will be equal to 90 degree angle so what we have to do we have to uh, uh, convert this force into its rectangular component so you can see if i convert this force 9 newton into its rectangular component one of the force will be this clear and the second one will be this similarly here 12 newton force is also converted into two component one in direction of this which is in direction of vc and the second one will be in this direction and this will be in the direction of nc clear this force will be equal to 9 into sine of 30 degree clear and this one will be equal to 9 into cos of 30 degree similarly this force will be equal to 12 into sine of 30 degree and this force will be equal to 12 into cos of 30 degree so we will you can see that uh, this force has been resolved into two rectangular component and this is also into two component one, uh, the vertical force is in direction of vc while this force is in direction of nc so let's start uh, uh, finding this internal loading by using equilibrium condition so first condition is sum of all forces along this direction let this direction is our x dash direction so sum of all forces along x dash direction is equal to 0 and you can take the force in this direction where nc is given that is taken as positive. So here there are three forces acting in this direction. One is nc, the second one is this one 9 into cos of 30 and the third one is 12 into cos of 30. Their sum must be equal to 0. So nc plus 9 into cos of 30. which is this one, this one force, 9 into cos of 30. And the third one is 12 into cos of 30 in this x dash direction. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve this, you will get nc will be equal to 
माइनस एटीन पॉइंट टू न्यूटन सो हेयर एन सी इज माइनस सो इट मीन्स दैट इज यूम डायरेक्शन गिवन इन दिस प्री बॉडी डायग्राम इज रॉन्ग सो एन सी शुड बी इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस एन सी शुड बी इन दिस डायरेक्शन क्लियर वी विल मूव फर्दर एंड वी विल फाइंड सम ऑफ Uh, we will find this uh, shear force by using equation sum of all forces along y dash direction. So your y dash direction will be here in this direction. So sum of all forces along y dash is equal to zero, and again force in this direction is taken as positive. So here you can see that V C is in in this direction. So V C, the second force which is acting. Along x uh, y dash direction is this nine into sine of thirty, but it is in this direction, so it will be negative. So minus nine into sine of thirty degree. The third force is again this twelve into sine of thirty, and since it is in this direction, so it will be again minus minus twelve into sine of thirty degree. So when you calculate it, you will get. This V C, which is equal to ten point five Newton. So it means that assumed direction of V C is correct. Now we will find the uh, this moment reaction moment at point C. So we will take sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Here at point C there is external moment or reaction moment which is in which is clockwise so we will write it minus mc clear now this force 9 newton is also producing moment about point c which is again clockwise so minus 9 into perpendicular distance now perpendicular distance is this one from this point till this force so this is the perpendicular distance and this distance is equal to If I draw perpendicular from this distance plus this distance, since uh, this is sixty degree because it is making with horizontal sixty degree, so this distance will be equal to this five hundred into cos of sixty degree. Or we can see this is five hundred millimeter, so you can write it in meter zero point five into cos of sixty degree. Clear? And this distance from this point to this point is again hundred plus fifteen one hundred fifteen mm, which is equal to zero point one one five meter. So perpendicular distance will be equal to zero point five into cos of sixty degree plus zero point one one five. Now the second force which is producing moment about point C is this twelve newton, and it is again producing clockwise. So it will be equal to minus twelve. Into perpendicular distance is now from this point till from this point till this point. So it will be equal to again 0.5 into cos of 60, 0.5 into cos of 60, and 0.115 plus 0.150, which will be equal to 0.265. I will repeat from this point till this point. The total distance is 150 plus 100 plus 15, which is equal to 265 mm. But when you convert it into meter, it will be 0.265. Their sum must be equal to zero. So by calculating this, we will get MC will be equal to minus 9.46 newton into meter. So again, our assumed direction of clockwise is wrong so the the reaction moment will be taken as counter clockwise so this was all about finding the internal loading at point c i hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you for supporting me and watching my videos